Hey guys, what's up? This is a house tour. Isn't house it? tour, but it's not our house. This is the childhood home that I grew up in. It's a bittersweet house tour. It's sweet because it's the first house tour we're doing. It's bitter because um, we're moving out. This house has been sold and two weeks from the shooting date of this vlog, everybody is gonna move out and we are never gonna see it again. This was my home from 1994 all the way up to 2020 pretty much. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. This is gonna be bittersweet, but it's definitely gonna be fun. So here we go. That's the house. Come on. So I figured that we'd start outside. And just to let you guys know, this house went through one major renovation. That was after my dad died. So it looks a lot different from its original state. But either way, we're starting outside. This is the garage. It fits how many cars, Bonizi? It fits a lot of cars. I mean, we are nine kids and my mom and my dad and the titas and titas because here we go check this out whoa over here back there that is my lola's house and over there that is my lola's sister's house and then the other side is my other lola's sister's house so it's just family galore here so this is a typical pinoy family compound where all the relatives are living together so what's your memory of this place of this road do you have any oh the day that Mikael asked me to be his girlfriend birthday niya so sinabi niya na pumunta ka dito sa bahay namin ipapakilala kita sa pamilya ko agad agad within the same day sabi ko oh gosh medyo nakaka pressure yun so yun yung ano yung isang vivid memory ko tapos pag drive up ko dito 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 pakita mo so Bonizi drove Bonizi drove up this way. And I parked there. Tapos, pagtingin ko dito, yan, sa gitna, kung saan may ilaw dyan. Yan lang, yung kwarto na nakailaw. Okay? Tapos, eh, scary kasi lahat sila nakaupo dun sa dining. Tapos pagbaba ko, nakatingin silang lahat. Like, who that? Who that be? Who that beautiful girl? <laughs> so, where are you heading, Bon? Ito yung unang gym nila sa bahay. Wow, may pa gym sa bahay. Sosyal. Tapos, kinonvert ni Mikael eventually sa kwarto niya. Kwarto studio. So, tingnan natin kung ano itsura ngayon. So, I obviously lived here for many, many years and I bounced around the different and various rooms of the house. This back here is going to be the latest room that I had before I completely moved out. This was originally the garage's second floor. So, it was a stock room slash bodega and I turned it into my room. Ta-da! Not a room anymore! <laughs> so, this was my latest room. I stayed here for around... Maybe like three, four years. Yeah, while you were doing Amaya. Ah. And this Amaya. was my room while during the first years of being with Bonizi. Yeah, this was probably like 2012 to 2014 dito ka next day. So this area right behind me where Bonizi is standing, that was the bed. And that was where a lot of sleeping happened, obviously. This shelf is super important to me. This was the first major furniture purchase I ever made. It was expensive. It was like 20 plus thousand pesos. But I needed it when I moved out here and I remember it because you know, it was my first major furniture piece. It's from Ikea. It was from a reseller here in the Philippines and I will take it when I have space. It won't fit in the condo that Bonizi and I have right now but it's still super nice and super sturdy and a space saver. But yeah, you remember this one Bonzi? Yep. This is where Mikael would play Dota all night. Dapat sleeping time niya, pero dyan siya nakaupo. Nagdo Dota, 8 hours straight. Yeah, and I put my computer there so I could look out the window if ever nagbubusina na yung service na sumusundo sa akin. And this place is the balcony of my room. And I guess naging sampayan na siya ng brief <laughs> ng mga kapatid ko. <laughs> Bayahan, baba mo na. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, yeah, sampayan all over the place. Oh, here, check this place out. So, uh, like I said, this is a storage uh, area now, slash labahan, slash sampayan ng madadaming brief. But check it out. Check that out. Okay, this is memorabilia from the failed coffee shop that Bones and I had. Not a lot of people knew about this, but we tried getting into a serious coffee shop business, and this was the name of the shop, Nine Cups. It failed, but it was such a nice and amazing learning experience. You just chalk it up to a tuition fee. So Bonizi and I learned so much about setting up a business, especially in the food industry, and this most specifically in the coffee industry. So maybe somewhere in the future we get to put up another one. But for now, Nescafe Gold is our coffee of choice. Hey Nescafe. This was a chair back in the coffee shop. Obviously it was not that dirty. Or maybe it was that dirty in the coffee shop. That's it why it was wasn't. It wasn't. Maybe, maybe. So ito yung bathroom nila Mikael. Hi! Hey guys, what's up? This scenario happened a lot because I remember there actually wasn't a lock in my banyo and not just that, this banyo is outside of the room so it's exposed to the elements so madami akong kasama habang naliligo ako dito I know there was a bird's nest there and I remember one time it was raining so hard that all the bugs entered I don't know why, I guess they didn't want to get wet and there was like a family of centipedes as I was showering. Diba, like a, a higad went over your foot one time while you were showering. Yeah, yeah. And there was another time, alam mo yung malaking moth, yung mga ganyang kalaki. I ran out hubad. Hassel. <laughs> ah, ha, ha, Popo, I see you. <laughs> wait, wait, oh my gosh. Look. Oh my god. Ginawa nilang doormat. Yung pantalon mo? Ginawa nilang basahan yung pantalon ko. Dude, this is like a custom pants maker dito sa Pilipinas. Oo nga. Hala. Kasha pa to sa akin eh. Okay. Well, yeah. I gave them a lot of my clothes when I left. And that's what they do with my gratitude. Yeah, so there you guys go. Uh, that is the tour of my latest room here at home. And now we're gonna go inside the actual house. All right, here we go. Uh, the grand entrance of the house. My mom wanted a walkway. I have zero input in the design of this house. I literally just lived here as I was a kid growing up. I don't know how much I completely agree with the design choices, but hey, thank you. It was an amazing house, as you guys can see. We're entering this way, the main door. Welcome to the reception of the house. I've never called it that. It's usually much, much messier than this because this is Alvaro's playroom. And he has a hundred million toys which is scattered all over the place. But since we're moving, it's a bit cleaner now. So, ito yung pinaka entrance sa may door. Pinaka entrance. Of course, we're all ballers. So, we got the basketball court over here. The interesting thing here is that this used to be the porch. So, this used to be outdoors. This was the actual wall of the house. But when my mom renovated, she extended it and yeah, it's cool, it's fine. Ah, so that day, this was a wall? Oh yeah! Bonizi, you didn't, you didn't reach that. She reached the second uh, version of this house. But yeah, so this was part of the garden. Mm. So the garden was ginormous. We'll get to the garden later. Living room, come on. So this is the official living room and it has always been the living room. Uh, my dad had a friend who was a priest so he would come over during Sundays and say mass here for the lolas and lolos. Especially, especially when they were sick and they couldn't go out. So there was an excuse to have a priest come over. Um, so sofas here, there have always been sofas. There used to be a nice rug over here. For me, however, this was just an area where you sleep. So after you get home from school, let's say you're tired, it was traffic, you just plunk down on the Sofa. Like that. Like that. Bonizi has slept here many, many times. Mm -hmm. Haven't you, Bones? Yes. <laughs> so I would be here and Bonizi would be here. So give me that. This house has been through a lot and you can see it in the details. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So yeah, 
this is the reception area slash living room. The foyer. 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 <laughs> is that what it is? As you saw a while ago, we have a lot of albums and pictures. I mean, there are nine of us plus two, uh, mom and dad. But because of our area, we would experience heavy flooding yeah. here every single year. Bonizi actually experienced one of them. And they would, I think the record was up to this high, and this was Ondoy maybe. And how tall are you? I'm, uh, I'm six feet tall, so it was around three feet high. So it became a lake, but that also meant that a lot of stuff got ruined. So a lot of electronics got ruined in the floods, a lot of picture frames, and a lot of memories. But that's So that's also why we don't have a ton of photos anymore. Yeah. We lost a lot of them. But here, for reference. So that's going easy, and yeah, floods were there. Really? Yeah. That was the record. That's normal. Once a year, at least. Oh my god. Am I the only child who thinks twice about their parents' design choices? Because my mom and dad all have these picture frames and photos and paintings and there is no common theme. Like this is one photo here. I thought it was of my mom, but apparently it was just a random painting that they got. I don't even know if they found it nice. But this painting has been with us all my life. Even before we moved to this house, this painting was with us already. So now the more exciting part of the house tour, we're gonna go inside the cave, which my mom called the playroom, but was also once an office. This is where the flooding was at peak height, maybe around four feet high, because it's the lowest part of the house. We're gonna need this, come on. So, <laughs> it's literally like we're treasure hunting here. <laughs> If ever there were monsters living in the house, this is where they would live. Oh, it looks like a scene from Silent Hill. Right? Okay, anyway. Right now, Emilio and Martin um, have made this their gym. Oh my god! <gasps> oh my god, it's oh a big god. snail! Look at it! Bones, can you zoom in? Yeah. Walk closer. I can't, it's scary. It's okay, walk closer. Go. I can't, that's as far as I can go. I knew there were monsters in here. Oh, hey! See, these were my old shoes. Yeah. Now I know what my family does with all my old stuff. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I know they have lights somewhere. Here. There you go. Oh, <laughs> look at that. We got some light. Um, this is my dad's gym. This is a crazy old gym, possibly around almost 20 years old. Uh, it was handed down, so my dad used it, Nikki used it, then I used it, and now the youngest ones are using it, Martin and Emilio. So it just so happens that whoever is using it gets really, really fit. When I was using it, I was fit. Now Emilio and Martin are super fit. There's some sort of magic to this gym, I guess. Do you have any memory in here? No, it's my first time here. What? Yeah! It's I'm, your first time here? Yeah! That's crazy! I've never been here. I thought it was like a bodega or something. Well, it looks like a bodega. Oh no, another giant <laughs> snail! Oh! I'm going to get out of here. Okay, okay, go ahead and get out of here. Uh, water? Coco? Oh, thank you so much. Come okay, so that's um. The first 25% uh, of the house. We haven't even gone upstairs yet. Come. So this is what's left of the dining room. <laughs> Ta-da! The ventilating table. All right, so this is the dining room and there used to be a huge dining table here. The cool thing here is that I have B-roll of another day where the dining table was still here. How many and people could my find niece, the dining table? Our niece, uh, Lucia, was also here. So I think that might have been her last time here. How many people could fit in that dining table? A lot. Uh, it was good for maybe 10 or 12 people. Oh, but we still wouldn't fit because when we'd invite my Lolo and Lola over, we'd have to put another monoblock table to extend it. <laughs> what were your memories here, Bonizi? Ooh, and dami mga masasarap na food na. <laughs> From Senior. Josie. Oh, thank you, Ate Josie, sa super setup na food. Oh, the crepes, Bonizi. 
So. Oh, the mango crepes are the best. Also, the beef stroganoff and the roasted chicken. Your new favorite, ko na niluluko ni Josie. Uh, the crepes here were absolutely amazing. It's just Nutella mangoes and her own crepe recipe. Mm. But wow, I would sell those crepes. But one thing that I realized, no, nakasama ko mag dinner yung family mo is mahilig kayo magkuntuhan. Oh yeah, we would have long dinners. Because so. after dinner, parang may chikahan pa, may chismisan pa ng konte. Tapos kompleto talaga lahat, like may appetizer, may may full meal. Tapos kailangan may dessert lage. So I don't think there was ever a meal here na walang dessert. Kung hindi full service, magagalit si mama, si madam mama. If you saw my shelf that I bought, the first huge appliance that I bought was for my mom. And this was it. So we have two refs here because there aren't, there isn't enough storage space for what 15 people in the household. So this is my first one, and it's still alive, and I'm so proud of it. But if you notice, it's on stilts because buma bahama. Eventually, we got the baha down to around a foot and a half high. So this was enough to keep the ref safe. So this is the place where I cooked my worst scrambled eggs ever. Why? This is where Nikki told me that it's okay to put condensed milk in your scrambled eggs. Because, yeah, kala niya, you put milk in your eggs and any kind of milk would do. And no, wait, so condensada. you... I was like... Oh, that's so weird. I was like eight years old. But hey, I mean, manimo, some people really like it. Yeah, just sharing that. We have also made a lot of good stuff here also. But mm. let's move to the... Dirty kitchen? This is the kingdom of Joshi. So this is the dirty kitchen. And as you can see, it's uh, <laughs> it looks dirty, but this is clean, okay? This is where we get all our food. There used to be a really nice oven here and a stove, but like I said, we're moving out and this is the wear and tear that you get after 25 years of living in a place. All these chipped marble, and all of this is original, like the marble countertops are original, the tiles are still 25 years old. You can really see 25 years worth of living here. Pretty cool. This is the hallway leading to the Labahan and Josie's room. Josie, dito ka nga! <laughs> Josie has been with us for 15 years. Yeah. And what are you going to know here? I don't know. What did Makulit ka. Sino yung pinakamakulit sa buong pamilya? Emilio. Sa naaalala mo? Si Emilio. Emilio. Sino yung pinakamabait? Si Bea. Si eh. <laughs> Bea, no? Yeah. Sino yung pinakapasaway? Sa pagkakaalam mo? Sandro yata. Sandro! <laughs> <laughs> bakit? Bakit? Ano yung naaalala mo kay Sandro? Ito yung nung nagpa-party siya, no? Uh, 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 ano yung alam? I-booking mo siya ngayon. <laughs> Sige na, isang kwento lang. Isang kwento lang. Ito, sino pinakamatakaw? Kayo. Lahat eh, no? Ano favorite na pinapaluto ni Mikael? Tuna scrambled egg dati. Ah, oh, oh. Tapos ginaya ako nila Emilio. Oo, oh, oh, tsaka sila ano. Ang dami. Ah, kaya nga. Thank you, Josie. So as we move deeper inside the cave. The oh, what? Cave. Wait, wait. One thing I'll never forget is this hump. Why would you forget it? I always tripped on it. <laughs> <laughs> the first time it was like super, like I was coming from here, okay? And then I was like, super ganon. I love your light bones. You look so cute. Yeah, I'm the lights man and the camera woman. Mm -mm. Oh, the washing machine needs to be here. Yep. And then the labahan area is over here. Hand wash naman dito. So this connects the labahan to the garage and ultimately to the exit. This is what I would call the back door because yeah. it was everybody's back door to salvation. AKA parties. So when we would go out, my mom and my dad. No, my mom was definitely a bit more strict. <laughs> pero siempre, we were a bit more pasaway. So you snuck out a lot. I snuck out. I snuck out a lot, and I snuck people in a lot. I snuck you in uh, a lot, yeah. <laughs> along with names that shall not be mentioned. Yeah. <laughs> I just remembered one. Lord. <laughs> Where? I Did you make out? Um, you know what? I didn't force the issue. I didn't feel it. We didn't. But if she gave me like a good signal, I would have. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. 
I was newly single. Interesting. I, I like this story. Yeah. It was very blurry. It was a blurry memory for me. Ah, that's so funny. Shit, what's my snail? Ah! Oh, no! Joke lab. That's so scary. Wow. May ang dami umiinom mo. Sino kaya uminom dyan? Sandro. <laughs> Actually, this would have been a nice place to hang out. Bonizi, can you guess what this place used to be? No. Tampayan. Ah, okay. So, ito yung Sampayan. Pero tama si Bones. If you fix this place up, it would be a nice hangout spot. Okay, um, final spot in the in the first floor is the den. And the den is used to be a place where we watch TV and Sesame Street. Used to be a place where I would sleep over with my cousins. Then it became Alvaro's playroom. My Lolo and Lola once lived here when their house burned down and they needed a place to stay. I snuck Bonizi in there a couple of times. And now it's Nikki's yoga room. We're gonna barge in. Who cares, right? Let's go. This is uh, Nikki's uh, yoga space. And because Nikki knows that we're moving out, he went into this artistic mode and dinamay niya si Alvaro. Look at what they did to the doors. <laughs> they painted that door and that door. Which sounds fun actually. I want to do it. I want to paint my wall. Go for it. I had a dream. <laughs> a song to sing. <laughs> to put me through everything. Yo, what can you say about this room? It's, it's my room. Now, for, for the next few weeks. What's one memory about this room that you have? <laughs> this is where I broke the GameCube. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the GameCube was. Where are we going, Bon? Upstairs to the bedrooms. <sighs> ah. Hey, Bon, easy. Um, this is the family room. But did you know that this wasn't here as well? Oh yeah, because so, this is right on top of the area that this was This was garden. right on top of the porch, which was non-existent prior to the first renovation. But now it's just a really comfy place to stay, except for all the mosquitoes. Yeah. There was one time that Bones and I slept out here, and we woke up because she had like one million bites. Yeah, all over my legs. Leg. But yeah, it's a nice place. I really like this. I would like to have something similar to this if ever we get a house in the future. After the house got renovated, this is where all the sleepovers were held because it's just so fun, right? Yeah, it is fun. It's beautiful because the area is so big. So next up on the itinerary of this house tour, we've taken you to all the common areas. Now we're going to take you guys to the bedrooms. Exciting. Come. Hey! So this is um, my room. It was your room. And it, it used to be room. red. I don't even know if I stayed here a lot. I didn't hang around here a lot because I never I never had a TV in my room. I never yeah. had a PC in my room. And as you guys all know, I'm a gamer. So time was not spent here. One thing that I remember about your room is that you only stayed here when you had to sleep because you had blackout blinds. And it was so like... Super dark. Levels. And the aircon, because it's such a small room, the aircon made it super cold right away. So he would forget what time it was and wake up super late because of the blackout night. But Bonizi, uh, I'm gonna trigger a memory inside you. Uh, we talked about this in the podcast during, I think, your birthday or our anniversary. I forgot. It was my birthday. I did something for you. Yes. What happened? Um, Mikael blindfolded me and then he set up in his room parang, like a sensory game. And then like he made me taste like different kinds of foods. Yeah, so like, it was a trust game basically. And I built an obstacle course inside this room with the different mattresses and pillows and chairs that I had. And then made her eat weird food, made her listen to music that we liked. So that was like my sensory experience yeah. birthday gift for both <laughs> It happened in this room. Oh, let's check out my banyo. Tara. Okay, back to the bathroom. <laughs> Welcome once again to 
my original bathroom. These aren't my things anymore. But all my cologne and my hair wax would be here. Yeah, and then this would be the shower where I would shower. Check it out over here. Wait, anong kwento nitong shower area? Diba renovated din to? Yeah, so this is renovated and obviously my taste in color and finishings was not very good. And this is what we ended up with. Look, this one used to be the outside, diba? Yeah, this one used to be outside. Last look, you guys want to see the closets? These are not my clothes, but this is pretty much exactly how my closet looked when I was living here anyway. So this is the room where we keep all the gold and the money and the jewelry. You ready for it? Let's go. Oh, we Kidding, I wish we had the gold and the money and the jewelry, but this is fine. This was the middle boy's room, which became my mom's room at one point. And now it is back to the middle boy's room. Just to prove that this was my mom's room when we when we renovated this house, this is her walk-in closet. And just a bit of trivia, this walk-in closet is also the entrance to the attic. We do have an attic, it's a storage, and it's crazy in there. I firmly believe that there are ghosts in that attic. That's the entrance. I think I'm the only child who goes up to that attic because I'm the only one willing to clean it because it's crazy, it's hot, it's dirty, there are bugs and ghosts and monsters up there. Onizi! Oh! Yes! Before we leave this room, I have one memory to share about it. It's about when I found out that my mom was going to have Alvaro. Mm -hmm. Check it out. So this is how I found out that my mom was pregnant with Alvaro. It's coming home. I I think I was coming home from work. I opened this door, my mom was lying down in the corner of her bed and she said, Hey! Mikael, come inside, I have something to tell you. And I'm like, okay, what? And then she says, I'm pregnant. I'm like, what? No! Really? <laughs> and that's exactly what I did. I was like, what? <laughs> Uh, the reason why I was so shocked was because I knew that her OB had already told her that she could not have babies anymore. So da, hello, who would not be shocked? And here we have the nicest light in the house. It is also the nicest and biggest room. This was my dad and mom's master bedroom. And now it's my mom's room where she sleeps with a lot of uh, my siblings. So this has gone through many furniture changes over the past 25 years but one I guess piece of trivia I'd like to share is that we all used to sleep in one room. All eight kids because of course Alvaro came much later. So all ten of us including my mom and dad we would all sleep in one room and we did this for years. Oh we did that also. We right? slept in our parents room. That's nakalatag yung mga kuchon. But the thing is we were so many <laughs> that it was like a sea of mattresses stuck together and when kids see that and you're all boys what happens? You jump around. Wrestling happens. <laughs> And daming ao na nangyari dito because of that, but it was also super duper fun. But yeah, this is a really really nice place. Uh, I want to take you guys to the bathroom. Wait, I want to show something. This is actually something that Alvaro made in the room. This is actually something that Alvaro is super proud of. It's his family tree, and he asked all of us for pictures so that he could put it on here. So lahat kami may photos dito na family. Bea, Sandro, Nikki, Mauro, Emilio. To Joey, Mom, Alvarito. So Alvaro went over to the house and he's like, I want all these pictures. So he took all my ID pictures. Cutie pie. My dad was a huge fitness dude, and with that, he had a pull up bar installed in his bathroom. And I remember when I was a kid, he would carry us, because I was like this small, he'd carry us to hang out here. And then as I got older, um, it became a place where we would do pull-ups. And up until now, Sina Emilio and Martin, they all do pull-ups. Oh my god, my first pull-up of 2020! Oh, my back's gonna hurt. <laughs> Ready? Uh, I'm just hanging. Okay. I'm gonna lift you up, okay? Okay. Ready? One, two, three, go! Uh, it's so hard. <laughs> I can't. Good times in here as well. If there's one favorite design choice that I would pick out from this whole house, it is the way that the windows are laid out in this room. Just look at it. I'm against the light, 
but I'm still well lit. It's just beautiful for vlogging. No bones. Check it out. Look at your face here. Yeah. There is just so much light everywhere. Nice. So nice. And there you go. These are the sounds that you hear. Sounds that I heard for 25 years. But I hope you guys enjoyed the house tour. This was my somewhat farewell. Of course, I think we're gonna have like a nice dinner. Oh, you Before miss, we go. Yeah, gonna I'm gonna, miss, gonna miss this place. I'm gonna miss this place for sure. Uh, but I'm glad that you saw it mm -hmm. and that you have memories here too. And I'm glad we have a video that we can show our kids. Yeah. Oh yeah, cool. Our kids. Wait, let's say goodbye yeah. to the house. All right, okay, bye-bye. Say bye. goodbye. So we're saying bye to the house with the Daes logo imprinted on it. <laughs> this is my brother who spray, spray painted that. Anyway, bye house, bye people. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. Condo tour next, our current condo. That would be fun too, right? Yeah. <laughs>